the small town of Ulytic, Indiana is a most unusual artifact from the past. To the left of the Ulytic Town Hall stands the Joe Palooka statue. There's no plaque that states his name or why the statue is there. Because when you're as famous as Joe Palooka, you need no introduction. Although the name Joe Palooka may not be very recognizable today, he was a huge nationwide sensation as a comic strip action hero in 900 weekly newspaper funnies, 125 of those in foreign countries. Joe was a boxer created in 1921 by cartoonist Ham Fisher. Week by week, Joe took care of the bad guys, even Nazis during World War II. His good nature and high morals made him an incredibly popular figure. Joe Palooka was so big that 12 feature-length movies, a radio show, and a weekly TV show were made about him. There was a comic book series, Joe Palooka wristwatches, lunch boxes, board games, and a Joe Palooka mask you could cut out of a Wheaties cereal box. So, the limestone quarries of Lawrence County decided to carve a limestone Joe Palooka statue. And on June 14, 1948, in Bedford, Indiana, over 4,500 people came out to see its dedication with the comic creator Ham Fisher in attendance. At 10 feet tall and 20,000 pounds, Joe was pretty impressive standing on a hill overlooking Highway 37. That also made him a target for vandals. He was moved several times, repaired, and eventually ended up in Neolithic as a worthy symbol of the area's limestone carving tradition. But Joe Palooka's story doesn't end there. In the 1994 movie, Pulp Fiction, John Travolta tells Bruce Willis, a boxer in the movie, I ain't your friend, Palooka. And in 2012, boxing announcer Joe Antonacci bought the Joe Palooka trademark and had a creative team recreate Joe as a mixed martial arts fighter for a new comic book series. But Joe Palooka, the statue, just keeps doing his thing at the Ulytic Town Hall 24-7. Defending your freedoms and mine in his boxing shorts. <laughs>